ಆಕಾಶವಾಣಿ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ಬಾನುಲಿ ಶಾಲೆ ಬಾನತ ರಂಗದ ಶಾಲೆ ಕಲಿಕೆಯ ಶಾಲೆ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಗಂಗೆಯ ಶಾಲೆ ಎಸ್ಎಸ್ಎಲ್ಸಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಪಾಠ ಸರಣಿ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಗದ ಶಾಲೆ ಕಲಿಕೆಯ ಶಾಲೆ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಗಂಗೆಯ ಶಾಲೆ ಕಲಿಯೋಣ ಬನ್ನಿ ಗೆಳೆಯರೆ ತಿಳಿಯೋಣ ಬನ್ನಿ ಗೆಳೆಯರೆ ಕಲಿಯೋಣ ಬನ್ನಿ ಗೆಳೆಯರೆ ತಿಳಿಯೋಣ ಬನ್ನಿ ಗೆಳೆಯರೆ ಇಂದಿನ ಬಾನುಲಿ ಪಾಠದ ವಿಷಯ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಭಾಷೆ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಬೋಧಕರು ಸಂತ ಅಲೋಷಿಯಸ್ ಪ್ರೌಢಶಾಲೆಯ ಆಂಗ್ಲ ಭಾಷೆಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರಾದ ಲ್ಯಾನ್ಸಿ ಡಿಸೋಜ ಹಲೋ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಲಿಸ್ನರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೇಡಿಯೋ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಶಾಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಟೆನ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಔಟ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಮೈ ಸಿನ್ಸಿಯರ್ ಗುಡ್ ವಿಶಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಕನ್ನಡ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ದ ಆಕಾಶವಾಣಿ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ಫಾರ್ ದೇಯ ಯುನೀಕ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪುಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ which will definitely help thousands of sslc student to boost their confidence level and to face their exams boldly i was lancy disoza an english teacher from st aloysius high school kodialbail mangaluru first of all let us see the deleted portion for this academic year as you all aware in prose we have 10 lessons out of which lesson number 8 a village cricket match and lesson number 9 a consumerist culture have been deleted in poetry section out of 10 poems poem number 6 sonnet 73rd and poem number 8 mending wall have been deleted in supplementary reading lesson number 1 treasure island is also been deleted so this is all about the deleted portion students now let us go through the lessons and poems and the type of questions that can be asked from each lessons i shall be dividing this uh, entire program into two sessions and this is the first session now students here we need to know this year we do not have allotment of marks for each lesson but in general prose contains 30 marks poetry contains 30 marks supplementary reading 7 marks grammar and vocabulary 19 marks composition that is letter writing and essay 10 marks and comprehension passage 4 marks all together 100 marks so students let's go for the first lesson a wrong man in workers paradise this lesson may contain the questions of 1 mark or 2 mark or even 3 marks let us see some of the important questions that can be asked apart from the textual questions there is a question what does rabindranath tagore compare the girls movement on the road to you can find the answer for this question in page number 2 paragraph 9 that is a rapid movement of a skilled hand on the strings of a guitar similarly why did the idle man ask the girl of the silent torrent to give him one of her picture you know that that is in order to draw some pictures on the picture page number 2 paragraph 17 you can find this answer next why were the hurrying feet of the girl become less hurried you can find the answer in page number 3 paragraph 28 similarly what was the work expected by the wrong man from the hands of the girl for the second time you can find the answer in again page number 2 paragraph 33 there will be definitely a question on rtc from this lesson or a figure of speech kindly go through the vocabularies of this lesson there are antonyms phrasal verbs idioms and phrases articles that is uh, you can find it in page number 13 14 and also prepositions kindly go through the lesson carefully Let's go to the lesson number 2 now the elixir of life this lesson is by CV Raman you may get one more question in this 
Again, there is a possibility of 2 mark or even 3 mark questions. If you go through the question papers of past years, you can find some questions for 3 marks or 2 marks. There is a question, how does hydroelectric power make a tremendous difference in the countryside life? You can find the answer in page number 20, paragraph 13, from the last 6th line onwards. There is vocabulary in this lesson. Again, there is antonyms from this lesson as well. Page number 64 contains one word that is medical terms. Kindly learn all these medical terms which will definitely be a question according to me. Let us go to the lesson number 3. The Gift of Magi by O. Henry. Even in this lesson, students, there are chances for one more question or a long answer. Possibility for even for a RTC that is reference to the context. Even synonyms may come from this lesson. In the vocabulary section, you have praises and antonyms in this lesson. One more important grammar in this lesson is subject verb agreement. Page number 47, 48 and 49 of your textbook. Kindly go through that grammar revisited part. Even you have questions tags in this that is and also you have inversions and there is also palindromes. You can find this in page number 50 of your textbook. Dear students, let's go to the lesson number 4 now. Louis Pasteur, The Conqueror of Diseases. This lesson may contain a 2 mark or a 3 mark or even a 4 mark questions. There is a question, what circumstances made Louis Pasteur turn his laboratory into a kind of small germ factory. You can find the answer for this question in page number 56, paragraphs 16 and 17. Kindly go through this. One more question. How did Pasteur show the difference between pure and stale air? You can find the answer in page number 54, paragraph 10. Students, you also have vocabulary in this lesson. And once again, there are antonyms in page number 62. And page number 63, also there are exercises, difference between each pair of words. Kindly go through. Once again, there is a one word medical terms, page number 64 of your textbook. There is a grammar part, change into passive sentence. Page number 65, we will be dealing with that later when grammar part comes. There is also grammar revisited in the page number 70 and 71. Students, these are the very important things that you need to note down and learn. Now let us go to the lesson number 5. What is moral action? This lesson also contain a 2 mark question or a 3 mark even there is chance for 4 mark question. If you go through the question papers of the past few years, you will find some long answers from this lesson. That is, for four mark questions, explain the five criteria considered by Gandhiji to decide an action is moral. You can find this in page number 73, 74 and 75, paragraph 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. The five criteria. There is one more question in this. Why did Saint Teresa hold a torch in her right hand and a vessel of water in her left hand. Students, these are the questions other than your textual questions. You can find this answer in page number 76, first line to third line. Even from this lesson, there is vocabulary in page number 80, exercise A and B. And also, there is a grammar revisited part, which you can find in page number 84 and 85. Kindly go through this. Let's go to the lesson number 6. The eyes are not here by Ruskin Bond. There is more chance for RTC from this lesson, students. Kindly read the textbook properly. Other than that, you may get a 2 mark question or a 3 mark question. Question like, how does the narrator prove that October is the best time for visiting? That is textbook number 2, that is second part. Kindly note. Second part of your textbook, page number 2 and paragraph 13. You can find this answer. One more question. How could the narrator being blind 
could describe then there's a chance for figures of speech from this lesson vocabulary page number 8 and 9 13 and 14 and 15 kindly go through the vocabulary of this lesson as well now lesson number 7 the girl who was and frank kindly note from this lesson three or four mark questions chances are more from this lesson there is a question how did ans diary open the eyes of germans to the viciousness of the racial persecution kindly go through find the answer for this this is very important question and i'm sure that your teachers might have given you the answer there's one more question explain the glimpses of nazi cruelty one more question how does a close friend of ann describe her condition at belsen these are the this question is from middle of the textbook so you uh, answer is page number 20 paragraph 18 you can find this answer this question had come for one of the board exams then there is a vocabulary kindly go through the vocabulary from this lesson as well you know lesson number 8 and 9 are deleted now the last lesson lesson number 10 the pie and the tart now from this lesson student there is chance for one or two mark questions one or two mark question there may be a chance for rtc as well from this lesson so there are some questions one is how does the playwright bring out pierce nervousness when he presents himself as a messenger to carry the eel pie you can find the answer in page number 83 peer fifth paragraph then there is one more question why does john ask peer to get the pie instead of taking it himself another question how does peer rest assure the lady that he would be second to none in paris as a carrier of eel pie you can find the answer in page number 83 next question how does peer explain that the pie was a masterpiece you can find the answer in page number 86 third and fourth paragraph other than the textual questions kindly note student these are the important questions as well so this is about the lessons and uh, now let us go to the supplementary reading in the supplementary reading students the first lesson is deleted that is the treasure island is deleted and we have two lessons that is karna from this lesson students one or two or even three marks questions may come other than the textual question students there are also questions which are frequently appeared in the board examination how did bima ridicule karna this question had come for two marks you all know that bima roared with laughter he asked karna to take up the driving whip which befits his parentage he also told him neither he was worthy to die at the hands of arjuna nor to rule anga as one more question is there what was the objection raised by krapacharya before the single combat between arjuna and karna and how did duryodhana set it right this question had come for three marks students you know what is the objection as partha that is arjuna was a son of pratha and pandu and a sign of kurures he told that he cannot fight with the unknown adventures so krapacharya asked karna to reveal his parentage how did duryodhana set it right then duryodhana set it right by coronating karna as the king of anga but there is one more question student why was arjuna's mind wavering when lord krishna asked him to slay karna you know when lord krishna asked him to slay karna while karna was desperately trying to raise his chariot out of the mud in which it had stuck arjuna did not go for doing the act of killing because he thought that it was not chivalrous to do so other than this students there are many questions in from the textbook you need to go through them all this is lesson number 2 karna and we have the lesson number 3 that is ulysses and the cyclops from this lesson students there is chance for two or three mark questions you know altogether we have seven marks for 
supplementary reading so we have only two lessons this year one lesson has been deleted from this lesson student the there is a question the habitation of the cyclops showed more mark of strength than skill justify you know that uh, giant's cave was rudely fashioned it was vast in size pillars of the cave are made of huge oaks and pines in the natural state of the tree you need to write the answer there is one more question student what horrid response did the cyclop give to elysus request for hospitality you know what was the reply the cyclop replied nothing isn't it but he gripped two of the grecians as if they had no more than children and dashed their brains out against the earth and tore their limbs into pieces and devoured them one more question student how did ulysses introduce himself and his groups to the cyclops you know ulysses showed courage to introduce he told that they came neither for plunder nor for business but were grecians who had lost their way from returning from troy and he prostrated before them and asked them to show hospitality other than that there are textual questions students kindly go through there are 15 questions you need to go through them all now let's go to the letter writing there are two letters students one is formal letter and informal letter you have a choice between the two you have to note certain things here there in the question it is mentioned that imagine that you are so and so so for the time being for the examination time you have to imagine that you are the one who the question has asked like for example imagine that you are suresh or shweta of standard 10 government high school bijapur so you have to imagine as if you are suresh or shweta and you have to follow the address that is being given in the question kindly note this this is very important if you write your own address or your own school name you will not be allotted marks okay now here let us go through some of the formal and informal questions that may come in the formal letter write a letter to the curator of the museum seeking permission to visit the museum along with your classmate now when you write formal letter students kindly remember that you need not ask the well being of the person as we write it in the informal letter you have to be official here you have to write first your address then comes the date after that two address will come then there is salutation respected sir or dear sir then comes the subject subject should be written short and to the point and it should be underlined then you have to write the body of the letter which you can write in two paragraphs also then comes the subscription yours sincerely then your name that is the name which is given in the question so there is one more question write a letter to the local electricity board to reduce the power cuts stating the reasons now here also when it is uh, given their local electricity board you have to write here to the person who is in charge there the director of the local electricity board or the manager you can write like that then write a letter to the concerned authority to provide street lights to your area now when it is given write a letter to the concerned authority student when you write the two address you can't write the concerned authority the street lights comes under the corporation or the panchayat so you can write to the commissioner here mangalore corporation city corporation or if you are writing for the panchayat you can that head of the panchayat then you have to write the address then similar pattern you need to follow one more question write a letter to the editor drawing his attention to the rising prices of commodities here also you have to give some facts how the prices have been risen in the last few years so you have to mention that then there is one more question write a letter to the sub inspector of the police station of your locality requesting him to arrange for patrolling in your area as there were many chain snatching incidents 
here also in the body of the letter other things other things are same but body of the letter need to be written properly you can give the incident which happened one or two incident which happened because of which the some people lost their ornaments that is chains and how the chain snatchers put them into trouble and you have to request the concerned authority that is you have to write the sub inspector then you have to request them to take action that is patrolling around your city now let's go to the informal letter students question may come write a letter to your father about your preparation for the board exam now when you are writing a informal letter remember that you are writing here in a informal way you can write your first you can write your place and date that is address and date then you can start next line you can start dear father then one paragraph asking the well being you can write hope this letter of mine finds you in the pink of health as the same attends me over here or else you can start from dear father i am fine here i hope you two are doing well i received your letter but couldn't reply because of my examination this can be the first paragraph for any letter that comes in the informal letter the middle paragraph you need to change according to the question that is asked here it is a question about your preparation for the board exam you need to write your preparation how your teachers have completed the portion now and they are doing the revision how much time you are allotting for your studies and which are the subjects that you find it difficult you give more time for that you can mention all these and uh, what is your expectation of marks and how hard you put your efforts all that you can mention in this question here too you need to write because you are the elder brother here and you need to uh, write a letter to your younger brother since you know the importance of co curricular activities you can consider the co curricular activities like singing or dancing or elocution or debating now, there are many other co curricular activities are there drawing is there so all these you can mention there and uh, ask your brother to take part in this and you have to write and uh, make him understand uh, there is one more question write a letter to your father requesting him to arrange a party for your friends on your birthday now usually a question comes you are inviting your friends to your birthday party here it is write a letter to your father requesting him to arrange a party for your friends on your birthday so this is again one more informal letter kindly note this finally one more point i want to tell you here there is a question called comprehension passage now you will get four marks for this two marks two questions will arise and kindly note you need to read the passage at least two times because it will be a small passage i am sure that it is a small passage but you need to read it twice sometimes the answer may not be directly there in the passage but you have to understand and write that's why it is called as comprehension passage so you can get easily marks from this questions dear students in this session we dealt with the prose supplementary reading and letter writing and a comprehension passage we shall meet in the next session student where i will deal with the poetry and grammar and composition thank you banuli shale banatarangada shale kalikeya shale jnana gangeya shale iduvarege banuli paatadalli prathama bhashe english vishayavannu bodhisidavaru santa aloysius praudha shaleya angla shikshakarada lancy disoza kaliyona banni gelayare ತಿಳಿಯೋಣ ಬನ್ನಿ ಗೆಳೆಯರೆ ಕಲಿಯೋಣ ಬನ್ನಿ ಗೆಳೆಯರೆ ತಿಳಿಯೋಣ ಬನ್ನಿ ಗೆಳೆಯರೇ